Hi, I'm Danielle Maitland, Prevention Director with the Substance Abuse Council, and I have a few students here who I've been talking about coping skills. Coping skills are something that help us to find positive things to do to stay away from substances. And um, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and tell us what their favorite coping skill is. Hi, I'm Noah, and I like to play football instead of substances. Thank you, Noah. I'm Connor, and I like to play football, watch football, and just be around my friends and play sports, really. Hey, my name's Seth, and I, I like to fish and go kayaking with my dad, so I can stay away some, from sentences. Awesome. Those are great, all great coping skills. And I like, Connor, how you said being around your friends. Having good friends is always important because another good coping skill is having someone to talk to. When you can call someone and say, hey, I had this happen and I need to talk to somebody about it, that's always nice. Who's the friend that you always call? I don't really call my friends because, first of all, I don't have a phone. But I turn to my dad most of the time when awesome. I have issues. But if there was one friend, it would probably be my friend Carter Pratt because I trust him and I feel like he's not going to tell anyone else what, what, what happened. So, yeah. Great. Yes, and making, making sure that you can trust someone, having people in your life that you can go to and say that things are happening is always good and important. So what about you, Noah? Um, kind of the same thing as Connor. I don't, I wouldn't. I don't really go to my friend. I would go to my dad or my parents first. But if I would go to a friend, I would probably go to my friend Jacek Bedwell because he's one of my most closest friends and I don't feel like he would tell anybody else or make fun of me for anything. Great. <clears throat> what about you, Seth? Um, I would turn to my dad mostly because like he... I, I know him a lot and stuff, um, but one of my friends I would usually turn to, um, Connor, like, yeah, because he, he, I play football with him, so, um, we, like, we have, like, a bond, kind of. <laughs> awesome. And you're, and if you're on the same team, then that team cohesion helps, too, having yeah. teams. Yeah. Yes. Great, great. Where's your f favorite place to fish? Um, try like trails, but I like to go like to Florida because I usually go there every year. So I usually fish there. Oh, awesome. All right, Connor, what's your favorite football team? Probably the New Orleans Saints. They got rigged in the playoffs this year. That's right. not their fault. Um, yeah, it's probably the Saints, but this year in football, you weren't on our team. But us two, we had a undefeated football season. We went 6-0. and so that that was our second time in three years doing that. So that was a big accomplishment for me. So awesome. And Noah, what's your favorite football team? I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. They didn't they didn't make the playoffs last year. It, it, we they had to be dependent on the Browns, but they lost. Great, great. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing about your coping skills. Coping skills are important, again, because when we have people that we can go to or things that we can depend on to help us through rough times, it helps us to stay away from substances. They gave me Vicodin after my knee surgery. They kept prescribing it, so I kept taking it. I didn't know it would be this addictive. I didn't know how far I'd go to get more. <laughs> Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth, spread the truth. Hello, I'm Shauna. I'm the head of public services here at Marshall District Library, the land of rainbows and unicorns. Did you know that? Oh, you have so much to learn about the library still. So in public services, we put on programs for all ages, and we also do the marketing and outreach. So we show up in weird places in community to represent the library. My name is Andrea. I am in our uh, public services department as well. I'm a library assistant, which means I assist 
with a lot of things. Um, this being one of them, I enjoy programming, uh, hanging out with everybody here at the library. I enjoy getting to make things pretty, like making flyers. And what else do I do? Helping with our website and our uh, e-newsletters, lots and lots and lots of different things. But really, this is the most like enjoyable part of my job is getting to like be with people, like public services, the public. Really, that's the portion that I enjoy the most. So our department loves to do collaboration and partnerships. So we're really excited to be connected to the Substance Abuse Council. And we also love that we're having an after hours program that you guys were all interested in because usually you're here what time of day? Um, probably after 2.30, so from, well, I'm here from 2.30 to 4 most most of the time, and just uh, read books, uh, hang out, do my homework, uh, play on the computers, and just wait until I have to go home. Yeah. Which is fun. And so when you're here after school... Can you be as loud as you're being tonight? Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. Right. No. Because our library is a big open space, and we have to share it with everybody. So unless you're in one of our program rooms, we ask you to keep it down. So yeah. we are really excited that you can just be here and hang out and be loud tonight. So. I have a secret, actually. I have to go on the record and say it's really hard for me to be quiet all day, too. <laughs> I'm actually a really loud person outside of here. Yeah. So it's really fun that I get to be here with you guys and actually get to show you that a little bit and so you know that I'm human and <laughs> and part of the library. Yeah. <laughs> She's only part human. But, uh, so sometimes after school you do programs with us in the program rooms and then we get to be a little more human and loud. What are some of the programs you've done with us after school? Um, we've went into the program room, we have did uh, to making crafts, um, building uh, anything like cars, stuff like that. We've, um, I forgot what they're called, but they're wood and you uh, have like rubber bands that you strap around to make what you want. We recently did that. And then um, I think, oh, and then play on the computers and we can be as loud as we want. Oh, right, because we've been setting up the computer lab a couple times yeah. a week in the quiet space so you guys can collaborative game in there. Yeah. Did he take all your answers? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> What's the program you did recently that you got to do something? The program that I did recently that I really liked was probably the rubber band one. Um, another, one's, another one that I like is probably the Roblox um, or computer program. Mm -hmm. So what was the last part about the rubber band program? Was it the rubber bands? Um, I, I, I kind of think it was because we got to be creative and we were making like things that we probably would never make in like life unless you went to like any other place that kind of did that stuff. But um, I don't really think anywhere else would do that. So that's why I usually volunteer to do that kind of fun stuff. Awesome.